so welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to make pillow, a shirt pillow. Um, so out of an old t-shirt. So what you're going to need is an old t-shirt, um, a sewing machine, needle and thread, and some stuffing, which we have. I just don't have it in the room with me. Anyways, so what you're going to do first is... Hold on. Okay. okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to flip the shirt inside out, which I already did. And if it's long sleeved, you're going to have to trim the sleeves if you want them off. So, where did I put my scissors? There we go. So I'm just going to cut these off real fast. Because... It doesn't really matter if you do or not, but I would suggest take, uh, doing that. Okay, next thing is you are going to have to sew this together. So I would get... So flip the shirt inside out again, so you see like the pattern. Okay, so now on this side, you're going to sew this up, right along here. So you're going to want... Flip this back inside out. Flip it inside out again. Fold it so you can like, so it's not like in the way. Yeah. Well, maybe we should just pin this. Pinning it would probably be easier. Okay. So unfold it. See, I tried to clear my room and it didn't work. And now I'm just a scatterbrain right now. Okay. So you're going to want to attach it to the shirt itself and whatever it's attached to and you're gonna pin it with uh, your pins with these and you're just gonna go along the side here which yeah it would probably be easier if I flip this backwards okay. Make sure that it's not in the way of anything so it doesn't get caught. Okay. And if you screw up, um, if you have one of these, it would be easier to take it out with. But if you don't, you can just get a pair of scissors. It works too. I should know. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to go inwards a little bit. So like here. But this shirt is like very weird. So. Uh, I will come back when I'm done pinning this. And then. Okay. So I got it all pinned. Both sides. And now. We're gonna go over here to the sewing machine. Sorry if you guys can't really see. I kinda got this thing so you guys can like see what I'm doing. 
when I do these kinds of videos to hold my phone. And it kind of works. It's just in the way of everything. Anyways. Okay. So, you're going to want to turn your machine on. And if you don't have it threaded yet, I would probably thread it. But I have mine already threaded. Sometimes it can be a pain though. Okay. So I'm gonna go with this side, which is the left side. I'll stick it in the sink. Okay. Put it there. Okay. So you're going to want to see your pins so you don't break your needle. Put your needle in your thing. It's just a straight. Okay. You get the gist. I'll come back so you guys can see what I did. And okay. So sorry guys, I gotta fix this. Okay. So I just finished sewing off the my camera will focus. The sleeves. So you cut the sleeves and now the sleeves are sewn in here. Uh, this is a long shirt, but you don't have to do that if it's a short sleeved, but it's up to you. Okay. So, now, I had to look at it. Okay, so now, we're going to sew the bottom where your waist would go back to the sewing machine, and I just got it. But if you have any holes in the fabric, I would probably sew those up so you don't see those in your finished product, which I'm probably going to do right now with my needle and thread handed. So I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with that. Okay guys, so I finished... Um, That is as best as the camera angle you guys are going to watch from, I guess. <laughs> Probably help if I have this one. Okay. So. Okay. So, now I'm going to pin the bottom here. So, um. It just depends on where you want to end. So like the image ends right here, kind of. So I'm going to pin it like right here by like an inch down. So... So I just go along here. And yeah. Then I'm going to sew it up. And I'll let you guys see the finished product. Okay. So I sewed the bottom up, and now we're going to flip thing, the pillow inside out, look and see how it looks, looks pretty good. Then what you're going to do next is you're going to stuff it. Okay, so you're going to stuff the stuffing through the neck hole, and then you're going to sew that up. So, 
Take a handful of stuffing and just stuff it in the shirt until it's to your pleasure or how you want it and then you sew it up. I'll be back. Okay, so I have the stuffing in it now and this is how it looks. And now I'm gonna sew it up. So on a regular shirt, it would be easier because they it follows because it because they both have that little loop here. But um, this is gonna be a little challenging because I'm gonna have to sew this to the bottom here. So it's gonna be like that, and. So I'll come back to you guys when I have this done and let you guys see the finished product. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. Um, this is how it's going to look. And you can also put the jacket on if you want the jacket on. As it falls off. So that's what it looks like. I actually like how it came out. Um, it looks pretty cool. And if you guys want to do one of these, or if you guys want me to do more crafts like this, let me know down in the comments below. And I will try to get back to you guys. And yeah, bye guys. Why did I take a picture?